The Death of Tunjana Khatib On one morning, the atmosphere was calm as usual. Tunjana Khatib was seen walking near the palace area. He was a nomad who had migrated to Singapore to trade. As a nomad, Tunjana Khatib had a lot of knowledge about trading. He was also knowledgeable in both religious and secular knowledge. Coincidentally, at that moment, the Queen of Paduka Sri Maharaja was standing at the window looking towards the street. Realizing this, there was a desire in Tunjana Khatib's heart to show his ability to the Queen. Ah, the Queen! This is the right time for me to show my ability. The Queen must be amazed with me. Then, Tun Jana Khatib calmly contemplated a betel nut tree at the edge of the palace. Suddenly, the betel nut tree had split into two. Wow. The queen was very impressed to see the incident. Then, Tun Jana Khatib left the place happily. However, without realizing it, Tun Jana Khatib's actions had been seen by a nobleman. Huh? What has Tun Janakatib done? I should let the king know. The nobleman immediately entered the palace and faced the king. Why do you want to see me, Datu? Your Majesty, I am so sorry to disturb you, but I have something important to tell you. What happened? Tell me now! Without waiting any longer, he starts to tell the king what he had seen. After listening to the story, the king was very angry and furious. Then, the king said, Ah, oh, how dare that Tun Jana Khatib. He must know that my queen was looking at him. That's why he intentionally wants to show his ability. But, hmm, it's okay. Bring him to me. I will give him a lesson. Br bring him now, guard! I will follow your order, your majesty. Later, Tun Jana Khatib came to see the king. He still had not realized that the king was angry with him. Your Majesty, I'm here as your order. Is there anything that I should know, Your Majesty? Hey, Tun Jana Khatib! You are such a brash person. You have made a big mistake towards me. Do you know that? Your Majesty, I apologize if I have done something bad to you. But... As far as I am aware, I haven't done anything wrong. Huh? Are you sure? My people told me that you have intentionally shown your ability in front of my queen earlier. It is very, very rude to me. Did you even know how to respect me as a king of the country? Huh? Uh, I am so sorry, your majesty. I didn't mean it. I am so sorry. Ah! Uh, be quiet! I don't want to hear anything anymore! You should get a punishment for this! Then, the king turned to his palace officials and said, Take this person that of them ago. I want him to be killed in front of the public. The punishment should be the best lesson to everyone. The palace officials just obeyed the king's orders. They did not dare to argue. Later, Tun Jana Khatib was taken to the town area. Once they arrived in front of a shop, Datuk Temenggong signaled to his assistant to stab Tun Jana Khatib with a blade. Ah! 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 It's hurt! Help! Help! Suddenly, Tun Jana Khatib's body disappeared and could not be seen anymore. Everyone who saw the incident was shocked and tried to search for the body. However, they couldn't find it anywhere. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, buddy. It's Where missing. It's missing. What happened? I couldn't see the body anymore. The villagers left the place hesitantly while still shocked. News of the incident had finally reached the King Paduka Sri Maharaja. He was shocked but said, <laughs> I don't want to know what had happened to the body. Now I feel so happy because the man is gone! <laughs> 
However, some palace officials felt uneasy with the incident. They think that something bad was going to happen to Singapore. The end.